MailerLite versus MailChimp for newsletters only what you really need to understand. All right, so first of all, let me just tell you very quick how this is completely different from all of the other reviews. Basically, vast majority, all of the reviews really tell you all of the different features of the softwares, but they just give you a list and that's it. And at the end, you are still confused because you don't really know what actually is the best for your specific needs. Whereas what I try to do with my reviews is I don't tell you about all of the different features. I tell you only specific features that you actually need to know to make a decision. And I tell you what tool is best for your specific case because it's always dependent. So I don't waste your time. I tell you only what you really need to know. I put in a lot of work and effort, me and my team trying to figure this stuff out. And also I have discounts and bonuses for all of the different tools that they talk about. So check all of the links. By the way, I created a blueprint for the best business model out there. So check the description. Okay, so we will start out with some marketing features because when it comes to newsletters, marketing is one of the main priorities. So first of all, we have referral program. So this is within your newsletter. You can have a section that you give out something in exchange for a referral. Let's say like people refer three people, you're going to give them something. If they refer 10 people, you're going to give them something. If they refer 100 people, you're going to give them something, whether it's some digital freebie, coaching session, some physical good, whatever it is. There's a lot of cases of newsletter softwares growing crazy using this exact thing. So it can be very, very beneficial. So MailerLite, they don't have it within their software. So you need to use a third party software, but with additional tool, you're able to do it. With MailChimp, you can use this using third party software. Next, super important marketing feature is the recommendation network. And what this means is basically, let's say someone subscribes to your newsletter and then you have this pop-up that shows other newsletters that they might be interested in. So you're kind of exchanging this newsletter subscriber, whatever you want to call it. It can be a very powerful way of growing your list as well because you don't really need to do anything. You just need to find someone to have these recommendations exchanges with mailer lights unfortunately you don't have this feature and there's no app as of now to do it mailchimp doesn't have this and no other app so i will have a link for this whole doc and i will keep on updating it and adding some additional information and i have discounts for all of these tools and bonuses so check out the description by the way i have made a video comparing all of the best newsletter software so i will link that below next let's talk monetization and first of all sponsored posts so these are called different on different platforms but basically what this means is that within your newsletter you can ask people to subscribe to other newsletters and you actually get paid for that usually somewhere between from as little as one dollar to as much as maybe five dollars if people just subscribe to a different newsletter mailer light doesn't have it and it's impossible to use any other tool mailchimp doesn't have this by the way i have created a document of 50 best growth hacks used by the biggest marketers out there check the link below next we have ad network this is again part of monetization strategy and ad network basically just means that the software Software allows you to find ads automatically being placed on your newsletter so they save you a lot of time do you keep in mind that you will need to pay usually 20% fee for that and even if they don't have ad network you can go out and find ads yourself or there are specific tools that allow you to do it and you'll just pay fees for those tools that will leave all of the links for all of the additional tools that I mentioned, by the way, as well. MailerLite doesn't have ad network, but there are other tools that you can use. MailChimp doesn't have ad network, but you can use some other tools. The next point for monetization as well is 
digital products and this is honestly you can make a lot of money through sponsored posts and ad network however if you really want to level up to the next level and make a lot a lot of money from your newsletter then digital products is the way to go this is where you can really make a lot of money and i have by the way a whole channel dedicated on just building a digital product business so i will leave all of the links check that out with mailer light you can sell digital products and i would say they have a fairly good functionality when it comes to setting up different e-commerce things that you will want like ad retargeting and stuff like that mailchimp allows you to sell digital products and they do have fairly good good features when it comes to that now the next thing is again monetization and we're talking subscriptions so technically this is a digital product as well but i put it separately because this is just one digital product that some softwares allow you whereas with digital products there are so many different products that you can be selling mailer light allows you to have paid subscriptions mailchimp allows you to have paid subscriptions. Now, the next step is design. And when it comes to design, this is basically how exactly you can design your actual newsletter. And also when it comes to your opt-in pages, forms, landing pages, all of those kind of things. Mailer Lite is a 9 out of 10. You can create really beautiful looking newsletters with Mailer Lite. Mailchimp is a 9 out of 10. They have most of the functionality that you will need. Now, next thing we got is integrations and why this is important is basically because if you're using other tools, so for example, let's say you are running a store on Shopify or you're running your website on WordPress, or you just want to use specific tools for your conversions, for running ads, let's say whatever it really is, you will need to have integrations, especially if you want to build a really big business. MailerLite has been out there for a long, long, long time. So when it comes to integrations, it's a nine out of 10. You will be able to integrate almost every tool. I think they literally have hundreds of different integrations. MailChimp is great when it comes to integrations. I would say it is a nine out of 10. Now, the next really important thing is automations. And this is important for basically your conversion. So if you are running a business, you are doing certain offers that you are promoting, whether it's digital products, affiliate, whatever it is, you want to set up certain automations that will just help you to make money on autopilot. I can't emphasize how important that is and how much easier it's going to make your life. Mailer Lite actually has really amazing automations. I will give it a nine out of 10. It has almost everything I would say you will need. The only reason I'm giving it a nine is because there are some other email marketing softwares that are really next, next level, but it has all the main functionalities. MailChimp has a good amount of automations. I will say some of the other softwares have a little bit more. I will give it an eight out of 10 because it's just lacking a couple of basic triggers and basic automation steps. Next, we have user experience. And one of the things is the ease of use, how easy, just how simple it is to use the software. MailerLite, when it comes to ease of use, is probably one of my favorite softwares because it's just so, so simplistic. And I put nine out of 10, but honestly, it could maybe even be a 10 out of 10. It's super straightforward, especially considering how many different advanced functions they have and they have a lot of video tutorials as well how to do certain things mailchimp ease of use i would say is around eight out of ten it's not horrible but there is definitely some place for improvement it's not as simple as something let's say mailer light so when it comes to pricing i will say that when it comes to mailer light pricing first of all you have completely free plans, so up to 1,000 subscribers. You don't need to pay anything. There is a limit of 12,000 emails per month, and you get a fairly good chunk of different features. However, if you will want to, let's say, sell digital products, 
um, have auto resend campaign, some of these more advanced features or some real advanced features like Facebook integration, AI writing assistant, all of these things, you will need to proceed to other plans. But the other plans, they start as cheap as $10 per month. However, this is only for 500 subscribers. And the advanced plan is only $20 per month. And that's again for 500 subscribers. I would say that with growing business, you actually get crazy amount of the different features. For most people, that might be enough. You will only need to go with advanced if you want to really take it to the next step. You want to run Facebook ads. You want to have multiple triggers and automations. You want to have that smart sending and things like that. But really for a lot of people, the advanced plan, the growing business plan, sorry, might be enough. And if we increase this in comparison to just to compare for 10,000 subscribers, growing business is $73 a month which is the cheapest out there that you will find. And advanced is only $110 as well. So it's really the best value for money. When it comes to MailChimp, they have a few different plans. So they have the completely free plan. However, the completely free plan, honestly, it offers so very few features. I'm not a huge fan at all of it. And then they have essentials, standard and they have premium and basically i would say there isn't that much of a difference when it comes to these plants one thing you just need to keep in mind is that on these plants you can only send 12 well it depends on the plan but basically on the essential plan you can send 10 times the emails to your contact list so let's say if you have 10,000 contacts, you can send out 100,000 emails, 10 emails per month on their medium plan. It's 12. So if we take this plan, for example, what it means is you can send out three emails per week. And that might seem like quite okay. But when you think about it, if you're getting someone in to sign up for your email, then you are going to be sending out those first couple initial emails of onboarding. So that adds up quite a bit. And then basically, if you have a newsletter once or twice, and then you have some upsells, it becomes a little bit limiting. I really don't like the, the part. I feel like it's a little bit tricky that they're charging or limiting you on how many emails you can really send. And if you'll want more than that, you'll need to go with the premium plan. And as you can see, the premium plan is kind of crazy expensive. So in general, for 10,000 subscribers, the essentials is $82 a month. The standard is 101 and the premium is 262. And it doesn't seem maybe that expensive per se, but then again, when I compare all of the different features that you get compared to other tools, I honestly think that it's very overpriced. You don't really get as much as you do with other tools. So I rather, because it's not even like that cheaper, if you compare it to some other options, it's kind of like medium price. So I rather either go for a cheaper solution that actually provides me more, or I go with a more expensive solution and rather pay extra $10 and just get a bunch more stuff. All right, so now let's talk overall what is the best use case, why you should use certain software based on your specific needs. This is probably the most important part. When it comes to MailerLite, MailerLite is basically best value for money. There is no sponsored post network, which is one of the downsides that you have on a couple of other tools. So if you were planning to make a lot of money through that, even though I would say that's probably shouldn't be the main functionality, how you're making money. It should be just maybe part of it. But if that is a deal breaker for you, then it doesn't have this functionality. However, you can sell digital products, which can you can make a way more money you doing that. It has vast majority of automation tools, 
all of the opt-ins, integrations, all of these kind of things. And it's great to use it with your own website if you run, let's say, your website on WordPress or whatever else it is. It's really, I put it for newsletters because even though usually it's an email marketing software, it's really a good option to actually run a newsletter and make a lot of money for much cheaper price and having way better automation functions and better monetization functions with digital product selling. When it comes to MailChimp, honestly, I'm not a fan of MailChimp. I don't recommend it. It's lacking a lot of main features, a lot of like automation things. When it comes to newsletter growth, it doesn't really have any of the functionality. And also, it's just overpriced. You pay way too much. You pay more than other softwares that are providing way more to you. I think it's just an old software that has been out there for a while and that's why you're overpaying. 